Africa history ties in to African history. Because one, we are one of the biggest continents in the world. Two, we, are the, we have numbers that are insane, you know? And I think Africanism has been taken out of context in many, many ways. Because as much as black people, and I like to call black people brown people, brown people have always been the custodians of Africa. But I don't think we were the only custodians. I think people of other color were also custodians. You know, I think all humanity, all of it, originates here. You know, there is no part of the human race, the people race, that does not come from here. And I think we are the strongest in terms of spirituality. Our spirituality is just so deeply rooted. And I do believe a lot of it was taken advantage of. I think the nature that we have as human beings, I don't actually like that word human beings, the nature that brown people have was exploited and used against us in many different ways. But at the same time, I do love to encourage people of color to embrace taking responsibility for their own destinies and to not rely so much on foreign things. Because people love to call us foreigners. Mm. I don't think so. Mm. I think there are a lot of other people who are foreign. Mm. Yeah. And I hear your reference a lot to brown people. Maybe let me just understand your explanation or your definition of brown people. I think uh, the, the word black people, I've, I've never liked it. This is black, you know. Black is devoid of all color. You understand? It's like... Uh, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, white and black are like opposites. They do the opposite things. Um, and black, the term black for me has always been a bit of a demeaning word. You know, call me an African, call me brown, because I'm definitely not black. And even the darkest shades of brown are still not black. So even if a person looks 